Have you ever been scrolling through Instagram and you come across that photo and you're just like, what? How did they do that? No, just me? Well, that's a little embarrassing because that happens to me on a super regular basis. And I always end up telling myself, Aaron, you gotta do that photo. You gotta do your own version of it. And I've never really been able to do that. All these photos I see, I've never been able to redo it in my own way until now. Howdy y'all, welcome back to another video. I'm really excited for this one because I've never done one like this before. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that I've only been using Photoshop for about a year now. And uh, I've been using it little by little, using more and more of the tools, trying to get used to the workflow, and it's just been a nightmare trying to use it. But I feel like I finally have gotten comfortable with it enough to be able to do something really creative with it, and that's why I really wanted to share this with y'all. Um, and uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. But before I jump into it, let me just say this, that I have only been using Photoshop for a year, so I'm completely self-taught from YouTube and pulling my hair out from trial and error. And so maybe there's a better way of doing this, maybe there's a faster way of doing it. I don't really know, but this worked for me. It got me the result I was looking for, so I'm rolling with it. Secondly is that I did use Lightroom Classic to edit the images because that is my preferred editing software uh, over like Adobe uh, or the Photoshop Camera Raw. And uh, so I did do that and then I brought them into Light or into Photoshop, sorry. And uh, so I'll show you how I did that. And lastly, and probably most importantly, I just need to say that no, my wife was not hurt in the making of this photo. So with that said, let's get into it. All right, so we're in Lightroom Classic and this is a pretty easy process. So I don't want to take too long. And so I'm going to just kind of go step by step uh, exactly how I did this. And uh, you'll see just how easy it is. So. Uh, you can see I have my two Im images here, uh, one with my beautiful wife, her name is Allison by the way, and the one also of the background. Uh, and the reason that I did that was to be able to maintain consistency once I remove her torso area, and you'll see what I mean in a second. But like I said, these are already edited. Uh, I'm not going to go into that because that is a subjective choice, and uh, you guys will do that on your own anyway. So, Go ahead and make sure both images are selected. You can right click, say edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. This is uh, kind of important, more than one way of doing this, but I think this is probably the easiest way to do it. So I have already done this. So then you come over to Photoshop and this is how it should look, right? You'll have both images over here on the right. Uh, and um, yeah, so. At this point, you're going to want to make sure that whatever image has your subject in it is on the top layer and whatever one has the background in it is on the bottom layer. So you can see you turn off the top one there and she disappears. <laughs> so at this point, what you need to do is make a selection of the torso region, right? Or whatever region is between the two sticks, which is why these sticks are here in the first place because that's what creates kind of the illusion effect of the disappearing body part or whatever it is that you're trying to make disappear. So I use the pen tool to do this, which is over here on the toolbar. And uh, you know, I, I like using it simply because it is really accurate. It is a little bit more time consuming and tedious, but you end up with a really good selection. Um, you could also use any of the uh, other tools in Lightroom uh, even the brush if you wanted to go ahead, you know, you could come over here, make an adjustment layer on it, make sure that you have black selected, get your brush here and start painting away. You know, there she goes, right? But once you start getting up to the tree branches here, you know, it starts getting a little messy and uh, you know, I don't know. It's just not the way I like to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead, delete that one. And for the sake of time, I did go ahead and create my selection for this. So to do that, I'm gonna go up to select, come down to load selection, click on Allison, uh, and then hit okay. So there you go. You can see we got our little marching ants and you can see it's just, you know, really nice selection. Uh, the reason I went over here into the uh, grass area is simply because when I tried to do it along her body here, you could kind of end up seeing that there was a bit of a 
bit of a change in the grass behind her, so I decided to go ahead and bring it over to her arm, just because that would make it more of a, uh, it would make it more difficult to tell that this is something that was altered. Uh, although I guess that's sort of ironic considering we're getting rid of an entire body part. <laughs> so anyways, moving forward, uh, this is sort of sloppy here because I was just trying to get her hair and the background here actually isn't too different so I didn't spend too much time doing that. So as you can see, got the selection done. So at this point I'm going to make sure that the top photo up here is selected. I will come down and do uh, the add layer mask. And it's gonna do this, right? Now, I'll be completely honest, like I said, being new to Photoshop, I don't know if this happens every time, but it happened this time. So, you're gonna then, if this does happen, you can come up to, let's see, I believe it's image. Yes, come up to the image tab, come down to adjustments, come down to invert, right? Or control I, or I believe command I if you're on a Mac, uh, and you can do that. And boom, there it is. And just like that, you got, you got the final image. And then from here, you can do whatever else you want with it. In this case, I like to file, come down to save, which will then put it back into Lightroom and allow me to do any further edits on it at that point if I so desire. And there you have it, it's that simple. Uh, there's a lot of other things you could do with it, of course, but that's all I really wanted to do and obviously just to show you guys so uh, that's it for this video. Uh, if you got anything out of it, please consider liking the video. Uh, if you're wanting to see more things like this, I plan on doing more like it in the future. So go ahead and subscribe and turn on the notifications. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below or reach out to me via Instagram or YouTube or whatever. And uh, yeah, that's it. So till the next one, see ya.